of the Cape Cod Baseball League. From Clem Spillane Field in Wareham, Massachusetts, it's game 29 of the Cape Cod Baseball League season for the Wareham Gatemen as they welcome the Orleans Firebirds for the second and the final time this year. Good evening, everybody, here on the leadoff spot alongside Aiden Blank. Jack Hunter with you. And Aiden, fifth straight loss last night, a 4-1 to one loss. You never want to take moral victories from losses, but... It wasn't a poorly played game, and Ryan Smythe reflected that in the postgame comments. Yeah, Wareham has lost five in a row, and I think we can all agree that was the most competitive of the five games. Absolutely the best performance. Riley, I cough. Dude, going through I, – I, I will cautiously say the vibes are pretty good at BP. Things are looking a little bit further up, maybe a little bit more than they did after Katuit. Well, for the second time this year, we get Evan Truitt for Orleans and Jonathan Bautista – for Wareham, the first time Wareham wins 5-2 to two tonight, looking for a similar performance. Yeah, welcome back, JB. He was uh, with the Gateman, then released, goes to the Valley Blue Sox, they release him, and now he's back with Wareham. He's still in the portal looking for a new home, a little bit of good juju there. And lastly, some roster transactions today, the biggest one being Sebastian Marillo out new Kansas infielder Michael Brooks in. Yeah, Sebastian's out. That's a big loss, but Michael Brooks can really fill that void, and not only that, he can be replaced, but he can be succeeded on the infield by a guy that, you know, has a little bit of momentum coming from his spring season. Well, Brooks starting at third base tonight after arriving last night. Hey, let's hear the manager's comments now with Amanda Foster. Here on the manager's show. With Appreciate it. Thank you. Absolutely. Back on the leadoff spot as we go around the league, getting you set for Orleans and Wareham and Aiden in the West. The West continues to roll. Katuit looking nice and pretty at the top. Yeah, a very tight race in the East with their win yesterday over Chatham. And then in the East, YD has lost two straight. They are letting both Harwich and Orleans stick around. Orleans, our opponent tonight, only five points back of first place. And once again, the bottom of the East continues to struggle. Let's keep things moving here on the leadoff spot. Now by or by Bobby Bozo.